Hi, I'm Laura Miller, Associate Professor of Architecture, and I teach in both the undergraduate and the graduate programs, uh, most recently doing thesis uh, for both cohorts, as well as history theory seminars and studio. There are many books that change, changed my life in many different ways. Um, and so it's hard to just pin it on one or two or even four or ten. Um, but I can name um, a few at least that I hope that you might read at some point in time that might change your life and make you think about space and architecture and materiality in ways um, that uh, would complement your studies in architecture. The first is a book called Speak Memory and it's a memoir that's written by Vladimir Nabokov. Uh, it's exquisitely written, and so for that matter alone, um, it's worth being on, I think, any list. Um, and it begins with his childhood in Russia, and it's rich with spatial imagery, with colors, light, smells, layered recollections, and it's full of the poignancy and specificity of very particular moments in time. And it made me think really differently about how architectural space is intertwined with temporal experience, with human emotions, and with longing. Um, the second book um, is very different. It's by a political philosopher uh, named Hannah Arendt, and it's called The Human Condition. And I first discovered this book um, in a class taught by George Baird, who's also on our faculty, when he was my teacher when I was in graduate school. Um, and Aaron's ideas made me understand space as an act of political construction, not only as a formal construct. And that's very different than maybe the way that we're trained as designers and architects, um, at least initially. And Aaron juxtaposes the artifactual realm, the made world, with human duration. And she beautifully describes um, how the continuity of human-made artifacts whether it's a humble chair or it's a building or a whole city um, or a landscape, um, give structure and stability to human life. And I think that's an important thought. Um, the last two books briefly I'll mention um, are um, maybe on this list because they are so lucid in their writing that they make the thoughts and the ideas come forward. The first is um, called Purity and Danger, written by the anthropologist Mary Douglas, who looks at uh, contamination and the cultural construction of contamination and cleanliness. Um, she describes dirt as matter that is out of place, so it inherently has also a kind of geographical or a spatial geography attached to it. And then um, Frances Yates' The Art of Memory, um, where she uh, in her scholarship describes the ancient mnemonic based systems of, of rhetoric that use architecture, space, interval, and image as a means to provoke memory. Happy reading.